What's going on, people? So, as you may know, and if you've been following a long, like, last, what, week or something like that, you kind of know that I'm an Ultra Boost guy, right? So this is yet another one of those. It's just a different model, right? According to the side of the box, this is an Ultra Boost CC1 DNA. So it's my first pair. I saw them initially, I think, I forget how long ago it was, but I saw them some time ago, I think during a live with John from the Predator Minute podcast or something. And I looked at them and I was like, oh, well, those don't look good at all, right? And then when I got them in hand, my first impression was that they don't look good at all. But I like to test things out, you know, see what's really going on or whatever. So that's kind of why we're here. So luckily, I didn't have to pay full price for these because as I always say, Ultra Boost, I like them and all, but that 180, I'm not about that. So as I often say, wait for the deals, that's what I do too, right? So these did come in 25% off, so I was able to get them for like 135, something like that. Then the next day they did a 30% off sale and that's when I bought the 6.0s. But either way, not a lot of that really matters except for the one or two people that are often asked like, oh, what'd you pay for these? Like, what's it even matter what I paid for them? But either way, so here we are. We're gonna talk about these. This right here, again, for those that weren't paying attention, is the Adidas Ultra Boost CC1 DNA in the halo silver and orange colorway, something like that. I forget exactly what it said. Anyways, so here's the thing. This is gonna be your typical review, so we're gonna start things in the typical fashion, which is with the bottom. So down there, what you're looking at is kind of a little bit of a shift from the past Ultra Boost. So I don't know what's going on with that torsion system, but as you can see, it's got that big orange slab going on down there. A little bit different, right? The front end, you've got the same stuff that you would normally expect to see. The back end, you got the same stuff you would normally expect to see. Only difference, I guess, being that it's white and not black, right? But I tried to look up some information about that because I was curious what was going on down there. Couldn't really find anything. So maybe it's still the same type of setup that they have, it's just not labeled. I honestly don't know. And I honestly don't really care a whole lot. But either way, here's the thing, we're gonna move on. Up here, midsole, right? Now that, that's very much what you've seen before, right? If you've seen an Ultra Boost, which most people have at this point, you know to expect this. This time around, the one thing I will say is that they went with more with that chunky style, like they, what, what they introduced with the 19s and all that stuff. So that's pretty awesome to me, right? It's a little stiffer, you know, than the other ones because the other previous models were a little more cushy, you know? Not everybody cared for that. So. If you didn't, then this is probably more of your speed. Anyways, let's keep this thing moving, right? So, the upper here. The upper. I, uh, I'm still not into this. But what I think doesn't matter. I like to present this stuff somewhat impartially, so that way I don't sway anybody's opinions or whatever. So I'm going to do my best to keep that train moving. But anyways, the upper here is pretty much just all going to be this light gray sort of color that you see up there but we'll get you some close-ups and all that talk about some things so we can get this all broken down for you and you can walk away with whatever opinion you walk away with around the toe box right so one of the first things you're going to notice is that this has an actual like plastic kind of overlay piece on the other ultra boost there is a bit of a plastic piece down around the toe box but it's on the inside kind of like if you compare like the original Uncage to the original normal Ultra Boost, the cage was actually like on the inside to give it some structure. This time it's opposite on the outside. So you got that thing going on. It's a little thicker than those, what you would see on like the inside of something like this, like a 6 point or a 5.0, but it is there, right? So it serves the same purpose for the most part, other than like cosmetic things. So we got that in some kind of gray, bit of a plastic sort of thing, fairly flexible for those that are curious. And you got these two little vent holes going on because this whole overall vibe is supposed to be like the climate cools and whatnot. I have one pair, never wore it. I think it was the South Korea something or other. But I guess it's probably also similar to like those vent toes and things, which I haven't worn the pair of those, but McFly has a review up, so you can check that out. He spoke very highly of them, by the way. Moving back to these. Up here, on the upper, right? So the upper of this, it's kind of weird in a way to me because 
it looks very much like a sweater that your grandmother might knit, you know, stereotypically anyway. I don't know who all has grandmothers that actually knit them sweaters. I've never actually seen it happen, but I've heard about it. So you got that kind of look going on in here, and that's the thing that I'm not really into, right? Because it just seems odd to me. But you got that going on all up here. It is very nice, very soft, so I'll give them that. And then moving along a little bit further, down here around the siding of the toe box, you got all these little plastic lines for whatever reason, probably to help give it a little bit of structure. I mean, that's what I'm gonna guess, but it's there, right? And it's just another thing that I personally don't care for, but if that is the actual reason for it, the functionality, I can't really argue with that a lot. So moving back forward here. So this right here on the side, you do have the standard cage type of design. It's just not your standard cage at all, right? Because this, unlike other ones, it's like on here for sure, you know? The other ones in the past, it was like a piece of plastic that wasn't really there. That's why you could cut them off and stuff. This, it's pretty much attached to the upper. So I don't know if that really matters to anybody, probably not, but I point out random things like that because every so often somebody cares. Maybe this will be one of those times where somebody cares. Comment down below if you're that somebody that cares. And then past that, looking at this, it's just your standard strips on here. There's no 3M on here or anything, so that kind of sucks. I was hoping it might be, but yeah, you don't always get what you want now, do you? So you just got that. And as you can see, like looking close in there, behind it is kind of like a big vent sort of thing, because that's the whole thing about these, right? The climate cools, they're supposed to be extra light, extra breathable, all that stuff to keep your feet cool, right? Makes sense. So down in there, you have a vent because that's how they do that. And then surrounding that whole area, like I was saying, just a lot of plastic, very flexible. It's not rigid or anything. So I don't have any complaints about it when I'm wearing it. Unlike those 6.0s, we all saw how that went. Anyways, moving on back just a little bit further. You have a little bit more of that same sort of style that you had on the front where the toe box is. That same little knitted sweater look that I'm just not super into. You have that all going on back here. And then you've got the standard heel cup. On the back of the heel cup, it does, oh, the, the liner or whatever, it does have Ultra Boost down in there. And then at the very top, you've got Ultra, excuse me, you've got Adidas kind of stitched on here. It's a bit of a plastic logo on some kind of not quite leatherish feeling material. So that's what's going on on the back end of this shoe. I think it's a pretty nice touch though. It's probably my favorite thing about this shoe, visually, that Adidas thing back there. And that's about it as far as the overall outsiding of the shoes, as far as all that stuff, minus of course the lacing area. So the lacing, right? It's pretty much gonna be your standard Ultra Boost type laces, nothing fancy about them. This time around, they're in a gray just to match up with the upper. And one thing that I haven't seen before is down here on the very bottom, they do have this piece kind of holding down the laces. I'm not quite sure why, because I feel like if that wasn't there, it wouldn't affect anything on the shoe, but maybe they just didn't want it to be so plain down there maybe and then behind that you've got the same stuff that we were talking about before so we'll kind of just skip over that and then move on on up to the top here you have the climate cool logo thing at the top that's sort of a plastic feel right but if you press on the actual climate cool logo it kind of feels almost like a like a band-aid in a way because it's got that same plasticky feel but within there is something to make it like somewhat squishy right so whatever is going on in there that's what's going on in there. And then behind that, again, back to the same knitted stuff, right? So one thing before I go forgetting to mention it, though it'll probably come up in the actual on feet portion. See on the inside of here where it says prime, prime green? Yeah, it doesn't say prime blue because it's not prime blue. The difference is that the blue, prime blue, is made up of recycled plastic, whereas the prime green is made, uh, I wanna say, of recycled yarn, things like that. So that means that the overall upper that you get here, it's gonna feel a little lighter, not so rigid, kind of like my complaints about the 20s and stuff. You're not gonna get that. You're gonna get more of the, like the Ultra Boost style that you probably got used to over the past many years, minus a couple little missteps along the way. So I just wanna put that out there because it's something that people probably won't really think about when you're buying these, but it is a selling point, at least in my opinion. So there's that for you. Now past that, I think we've covered pretty much everything about the upper itself, talked about all that stuff. 
So I'll hit you with some personal thoughts real quick. This right here, visually, I'm still just, I'm not a fan. But the thing is, the material wise, right, it is very soft, it's very light overall. So I do like that about it. But again, man, it's just like that look. I Maybe a different color, maybe there was like, or maybe there were more colors on it that might make me feel a little bit different. But you know, and the visual only matters so much in some ways. You gotta kinda look at, does it do what it's set out to do, right? Is this filling the purpose that it was made to fill? That's the real question. And you want a real answer, right? So I got you on that. Meaning, we're gonna talk about some sizing and comfort and all that good stuff. So here's the thing, sizing wise first. I bought these in a nine and a half because to me, Ultra Boost are a true to size fit and my true size is nine and a half. So that's what I go with. And on here, it worked out as I expected it to for the most part. I say that because around this toe box area where you have that plastic piece on the outside, it seems to be just a little thicker and just a little more intrusive. So it kind of sits right on the tip of my toe like in a way that I'm not a huge fan of. So normally I wouldn't suggest going up a half a size and even on here, I'm still a little skeptical to say that, but it's definitely something to consider because with the past ones, it really just wasn't a problem. That part, you could rely on it to stretch out a little bit over time and kind of get broken in. This, I don't think that plastic is really going anywhere. You know what I'm saying? So give that some thought. But past that, as far as the rest of the shoe goes, the fit was where I expected it to be. And then walking around in these, as I said, this is a prime green. So you're gonna get more of a natural knitted shoe experience, which is very good, especially compared to some of the last couple things that I reviewed. So this, it's feeling lighter just as soon as I put it on, like lighter as in weight and breathability. So both of those are huge pros in my opinion. And it just felt like in the toe box, it felt like you had some space in there, like not super tight or anything. So that was good. And just overall the shoe, I mean, I can't really say much for like how it felt with the heat and all that stuff because I was just wearing them in here. But it seems like it's gonna work out as far as like the extra breathability because looking in there, all the all that extra airflow, I mean, I can't see that being a bad thing. And you can look in there and actually tell where the vents are and all the extra holes that they have and all that good stuff. I have to get some pictures after this if I remember, but trust me, the breathability on this thing is top notch. So in my opinion, going back to what it was, what I said before, it's doing what it's set out to do. And as far as the comfort goes, the heat in the midsole and everything, this is the more 19, 20 style midsole. So it's got that extra amount of boost. I want to say it's 20% compared to like the previous ones, like the one through four, where it was like 20% less. So you're gonna have a, a more stiff sort of feel to the boost, almost like a night jogger or something, rather than that super cushy, kind of like the 350s and things like that. So if that matters to you, do what makes sense based on that information. But I just wanna put that out there because it does seem important. But past that, I think I've talked enough about the actual upper and the feel of this. Just know that it's really good. So now we can put that piece behind us and get back to kind of wrapping this video up because I feel like it's going on a bit. So I was saying something before about like the breathability and whatnot. So this is the part where I talk just a little bit to get some pictures in there. And that way you can kind of see exactly what I'm talking about with like, you know, the light shining through and all that crap. So that should be enough for that, right? And now I've covered everything. I don't think there's anything left. So for me to you, have a nice rest of your day or rest of your night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Don't forget to go check out Sneaker Hearts, which I forgot to plug in the beginning of the video, but I will gladly do that now for you guys. They're up there, look at them. And over here, huge, huge friends of the show, right? So anyways, there's that for you. Later, people.